Hello and welcome everyone. I'm excited to have you here today. In this video, we are delving into the captivating world of 3D visualization, focusing specifically on STL files and NFTs. So let's go to the coding parts. The first thing that we need to do is to install video. So to install video, you need just to pip install it using the terminal, or if you are using VS Code, you can directly use the terminal of VS Code to install pip, uh, to install video. Sorry. So after installing video, what you can do just to import some uh, dependencies. So from video import, the first thing that we will need is load. So load can be used to load the STL files. And then we have, if we want to load nifty files, then we can do use volume. So volume is used to load or to import the nifty files. And then we have show. So show is to visualize like volumes or STLs. So it works for both of them. So the first thing that you need to do, I will just uh, define the paths to the files. As you can see here, I have already a folder with three files. This one is the STL file, and this one is a CT scan, and this one is a liver, like a segmentation of a liver. So this is a 3D mask, okay? So let's close this here. Let's define the path. So path of STL equal to data, then we have file dot STL. So this is for the STL file. And then we have path for the uh, nifty, vol for volume okay then we have the like data slash we have ct dot lii dot gz and then we have the path for nifty for segmentation and it is equal to data then lever dot lii dot gz i hope that i didn't do any mistake with the names so we have ct files and lever Okay, now we have defined the files, but we need to do like the first step that we need to do is to load the file. So let's start by the uh, STL files. So loading the STL files. Okay, so to load the STL file, let's create a variable, call it mesh. Then here we have load. You will see that it's very easy to do this uh, kind of visualization and it is very cool uh, library. I will make more videos about this and you will see that it's very useful for medical imaging and for any 3D visualization, 3D cropping and all this stuff. So we have mesh equal to load and then we give the path to the STL. So we have path STL. Now we have loaded the file, then we need to visualize it. So for example, we do visualize the STL file. Then here to visualize it, we just need to call the for the function show. So we have like show and here we give the mesh. Now let me just run it. Okay, so this is the file that we have. This is the STL file. And you can change the color of the mesh. You can change the color of the background. For example, let's say I want to yeah so let's say i want to change the color of the background so to change the color of the background you can change it directly here so we have bg equal to and then you give the color like you can give rgb or you can give for example like this red okay like the most used uh, colors like black red green yellow all these colors can be taken directly or you can give the rgb a value so let's run it. So now, as you can see, the background is red. It's not a good color to be used for this kind of stuff, but just to show you. And if you want to change the color of the mesh itself, so you can do mesh that color, and then here you give the color, and it can be also given as a, as a, like a word or given as RGB file. So for example, let's uh, give it another color. For example, green. And this one, let me change it to black and let's run it here. Okay, so here we have the background black and the uh, foreground, which is the mesh in the green color. And we can do the same thing for the nifty files. Let's just comment this. Back. Okay, now let's go for the uh, nifty files. So you see that the process is the same, like only the function that loads the STL will be changed. Instead of using load, we will use uh, volume. So here we have mesh equal to volume, and then we give the path. Let's start by the uh, by the volume, and then we go to the segmentation, and it is the same thing. 
So here we have volume, then here we have path to nifty file or nifty volume, and then we have show and then the mesh. Okay, now I hope that it will work with no problems, but if anything needed, we can also add it. So as you can see here, we can already see the volume, like we can see also the skin because we have the whole volume and we are trying to visualize it as, uh, as, as like a mesh, 3D mesh. But as you can see, all the details are here. If you want to see only the bone, then you need to adjust the volume, but I don't think that most of us will use the 3D visualization to visualize a volume like this one. Most of the time is used to visualize a mesh or a nifty segmentation, not nifty volume. But or if you want to do that, you can always use it as you can see here. Now let's try with the path to nifty segmentation. And the same thing here. Okay, so for example, this is the segmentation of the lever. And for example, let's say you are doing uh, a deep learning model for image segmentation and you want to visualize the segmentation after doing the prediction or after doing the inference, then you can do it using this library. So this is all. I hope this, this video was helpful for you. And if uh, it was, like you can put a thumbs up to the, uh, to the video and you can subscribe for more videos about this. And also I have a newsletter, like weekly newsletter about medical imaging, where I share any news, any project that I do or any project that someone do. And it is interesting in the domain of medical imaging. You can always receive them like weekly or one in two weeks, depends to the news that we have. But yeah, you can do that. I will leave the link in the description. See you in the next video. Bye bye.